What's up everybody, I'm the Man Goose. You are awesome and Undying Games released a pre-alpha spotlight video for Dante. It's not surprising that this is the first spotlight we get since we've already seen his abilities in action during the Extra Life event. Hopefully there will be more myths to follow in the coming weeks. So let's talk about what we saw here. Much of it is obvious, however, there may be a few things that you may have missed. I'm not really going to talk about the abilities much since you can just watch the video for yourself to learn all about that. The video starts out with an overview of Dante's lore, which is very nice for us lore nerds. We also get a good view of Dante's character model. And I don't know who did the voiceover for this thing, but damn, dude is epic. Power of his transmuters. Charming, charismatic, and a quick shot. Dante rejects his royal blood in favor of dealing with criminals his way. I like this style of intro. We get an unfettered up close look at Dante, and there's nothing to detract from the story that's being told. Next up, they tell us about his class, archetype, and sub-archetype. Then we get into the meat and taters with the ability descriptions. His passive ability has a nice, easy-to-understand UI element. However, that brings to attention that there is no UI in this video. Perhaps they're still finalizing what needs to be in the UI, but I would have much preferred that the UI was visible for the entire video, so that we can see where everything will be on screen, especially the passive tracking element. The particle effects on his shots are really well done and kind of unexpected for a pre-alpha. Not only do you get the magical muzzle flare from his transmuters, but you can see the projectiles fracture upon impact with the target. This will go a long way towards giving us a visceral gaming experience to provide great visual feedback for when you're actually hitting your target. This indicator for silence though? I assume that this is like a placeholder asset because that looks dumb. And you can see like later on, you can see like when Malaya is slowed, she has a pretty good indicator for being slowed. Like, so hopefully they can come up something a little better for silence. Now this isn't the first time we see this, but the first I noticed was on the Go Long example. We have death animations. Normally at this stage of pretty much every game I've played, people just kind of poof into particle explosions when they die. But it looks like we get real deal death animations from the start. This is really nice, really cool, I like this. The thing I notice here is the play of light and shadows on Malaya, like the, with the tree shadows going by. Nothing really impactful to say about this, it just looks nice. Now, oh, evasive maneuvers. That animation looks rough. Maybe it'll look better if it travels further when you level it up, but that's a lot of acrobatics to move a total of like two steps. The ultimate is cool, a lot like Murdoch's Long Dong. There's an interesting effect when you fire where your view is tripled for a short period of time. Not sure how I feel about that as opposed to just some bright particle work. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Now this part where Dante runs through the water is interesting. It would be nice to see some splashes as he goes, but I don't expect that level of polish from a pre-alpha. Seeing his reflection behind him is kind of cool, as well as the reflection of the environment. From the way his legs move when transitioning from a sloped surface to a smooth surface, as well as the way he comes to a halt leads me to believe that it's all animation work without distance matching. Again, I don't expect distance matching, that was a pretty high level programming technique that Epic did with Paragon, but it would have been nice to see. His cape does interact with his boots though, which is an impressive amount of attention to detail. You can see that the hem kicks up when his boots hit it. I don't know why they used the same running through river scene as the blurred backdrop for the build portion of the video. It would have been nice to see him running through some other areas of the map, even if it is blurred out. Here at the end, we can already see that he has an emote. At least, I, I assume that's an emote. Could be his like interest animation or something, but I'm pretty sure that that's an emote. And finally, we get a good look at his Cyber Ronin skin. At first, I didn't think the skin changed enough about Dante's base look, but it really does transform the myth. The problem is that it's the same color motif as his base skin, so the changes aren't obvious at first glance. I would like to see a palette change on this skin just to distinguish it from the base a bit more. Now the thing that really worries me, whoever posted this for Ethereal tagged Destiny as the game. When you post a video, you can request more posting options that allow you to add tags or associate the video with a particular game. Ethereal Clash of Souls isn't an option yet on YouTube, so when I do an Ethereal video, I just leave it blank. So someone made a conscious decision to tag Destiny. I guess because Dante looks a bit like Cade 6 but Undying needs to be careful who they're marketing the game towards. I said this about Paragon, that game went to shit when they dumbed it down and made it faster to appeal to the FPS crowd. 
I don't like seeing Undying Games associating their MOBA with a looter shooter. MOBAs are strategic, cerebral games, and that's what I love about them. I would hate to see Ethereal morph into more of a brawler just to appeal to a wider player base. Maybe I'm reading too much into that, but it does make me worry. That's all I gotta say about that folks, very exciting to see things like this being released by Undying Games. Makes me feel like the alpha could be right around the corner. While there were some things I didn't like about the spotlight, I'm overall highly impressed. We need to bear in mind that this is a pre-alpha view of Dante, a character that was built from the ground up without anything being given to Undying for free. While there could be some improvement, Undying Games did a fantastic job with the Miss Spotlight for Dante, and I look forward to future Miss Spotlights. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you enjoyed my content, but for now, this is the Mangoose signing off. You guys, have a good one. Mangoose!